I'm at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Fort Worth, Texas. I'm going to give you a little tour. If you have any questions about this tour, just contact the folks at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Fort Worth, Texas, and they'll be more than happy to answer all the questions. So I'm going to give you a tour of their lot just to give you an idea what sort of stuff they have, sort of uh, towables they have. Again, they specifically only have towables at this uh, joint, okay? So let's take a quick tour. Actually, not going to be a quick tour. I'm going to walk around for quite a bit. So as you can see, there's I-35. Goes all the way from the bay, all the way to Minnesota. There's a little sign. And, uh, on this side of the lot, they got their more affordable units like the Zingers, the Flagstaff E-Pros. Excuse the noise, again, it's the highway. It's late February 2020, and um, it's rather chilly, shockingly chilly. Let's take a quick peek at uh, this one right here. This is a uh, Flagstaff E-Pro, designed for going off-road a bit. It says it has Solar on board, Asdell on board, and this is a Flagstaff E19 FPS. That's a nice little uh, setup here. So we're going to take a peek at some units here and there, and then we're not going to do you know, complete uh, reviews. right here you have the microwave you have the refrigerator you have the restroom right there the controls for the uh, air conditioner you have a little bit of a slide out here table a little sink and a three burner stove this is a nice little stove not too bad not too bad at all a little suburban basic suburban stove and of course, they say they have solar on board. You know how some units have uh, solid wood door fronts? These are basically uh, sticker wrap over particle board, so it's not too bad. You can see it right up here. So, but it's pretty durable, from what I understand. They have some storage down here, storage there, and the puniest of little TVs. But it's better than having no TV, huh? Jealousy style windows. Storage right there. Let's take a peek at this uh, lithium. Not too bad. It's a 2414. Sticks and tin. Pretty windy. Let me go open that again. There we go. We are inside now. It's a toy hauler. It has these uh, thin little mattresses. Good for the kids. Some adults. Storage down there. Or, you know, for your motorcycle, toys, etc. And these, of course, go into beds. And you have a little chair here. And you have a stainless steel double wall sink. Three burner stove. Let's look at the construction of the door again. This is again sticker wrap. You can see right here it's starting to, uh, the screws went through. You get what you pay for. Nice uh, front fascia for that refrigerator. And this is the bedroom. Take a peek and uh, get access over here to the restroom if you want. So it's a quick peek. It's a quick peek. I'm not uh, promising long, detailed reviews. It's just a quick peek. Back outside. Woo! It's cold. That's a good size window. No aluminum rims here. 
these are the official railroad tracks. There's the offices. On this side, you got the more affordable units. On this side, you start paying a bit more, okay? I think they got a, at least 200 units on this lot. They've taken quite a few to the Dallas RV show. It's the Voltage. There's the Torque. There's the Prowler, which is more affordable than uh, other brands. Yeah, the Open Range. I really like the Open Range products. They have the new Paradigm Alliance RV. Very unique brand. Budget friendly, I think. It, it's not what I consider a high-end RV. You want to see high-end RVs? Right there, that's the high-end RVs. The Beacons, the Van Lees, and of course, the Redwoods. Let's take a peek inside this Redwood right here. Again, these uh, typically sell for like a hundred grand around there, plus or minus 25,000. This is the 3951 WB. I think I did a review of this one. I'm pretty sure I did. Nice, nice quality. Nice quality solid wood, nice chairs. And you get over here, all kinds of storage. Look at all that storage. It's a little dark. My little gimbal, my little action camera on this gimbal is not the best for low light situations, especially with these dark woods. If it was lighter woods, and they do have that option, I'm pretty sure it would do a lot better. Nice little shower area. So when you're looking at these RVs, you know, take your time. Don't be in a hurry. Check out the bed, make sure it fits. Make sure the mattress is semi-decent. There's a nice rear edge. Nice little, little bar sink, storage down there, a little wine cooler. Thick, thick, thick. Very nice, the countertops. Stainless steel sink. Right there, stainless steel sink. And a stainless steel covered uh, high-end uh, Stove top and oven, yeah, of course. You get a microwave convection microwave up there. And this is the piece of the resistance. Hope my camera can get it. It's so dark in here. Two easy chairs, sofa, another sofa, and a big screen TV and a little fireplace. Wow, I love it. I highly recommend this uh, Redwood. I did a review of it. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check out my more detailed review okay let's keep on walking around let's go take a peek at the beacons one of the beacons sometimes i just go in the back and see if any of them are plugged in first of all because <laughs> uh with the darker interiors it's hard to take pictures with my little action camera Let's see if this one's plugged in. This one looks like it might just... Yes, it is. It's plugged in. Very nice. I can turn on the lights inside. Let's go inside. There's the highway across the way. Solid step. Gotta love solid step. Very nice. Looks so much better when you have the lights, huh? Got the lights on. Even with the dark woods, you can see a lot better. Nice interior. I did a review of this one also. If you want to, I'll leave a link in the description if I remember correctly. Even have a fireplace on. Look at that. Nice. Let's take a quick shot of that. I can feel the heat. It's like in the 40s outside, but in here, it's closer to 80. Very nice, very nice. Definitely the, better than the Alliance product. This is upscale. Alliance is mid to low scale. They carry it all here, you know, budget brands like the Alliance, upscale brands like the uh, T 
Tiffin, Van Lays, and the uh, Redwoods. Nice little controls here. Beautiful bed. Good size bed. Nice furnished double bowl sink. Look at that. Double bowl sink. Can't complain about that, huh? His and hers. And there I am. I'm looking pretty uh, ragged right now with the wind and the cold. Nice little sh toil toilet. Even the nice uh, surround for the shower. It's all the way around. It's one solid piece. Very nice. We've got this fancy toilet. Here's a shot of the, some of the cabinetry. Little TV. And of course, the quality of the materials. Top of the line in Vanley Tiffin products. Very nice. There's a nice shot here just before I leave. What do you think? Do you like this one? Is it on, uh, on your shopping list? Pretty sure the folks at uh, Explore USA RV Service Center will be more than happy to help you out. They also carry DRV, which is a incredible brand. So they carry everything from the basic uh, mid-range Alliance to the very nice Redwoods. Very nice open ranges and of course tons of uh, beacons and uh, Villanos and all that sort of stuff. If you're a full-timer, part-timer, hey the sun came out. This is, we've got some choices here. Let's go inside this one. Hopefully it has light interiors. This is the uh, bunkhouse model, 376 FBH. They locked me out. They must have known I was coming. Let's go check out another one. If this one's locked, I'm going to be very upset. It's another bunkhouse model. Huh. Does it... What's going on? Well, let's uh, try something else. There's a Villano fifth wheels. So they carry quite a few Tiffin products here. Forest River, Flagstaff, Superlights, Volantes. Sorry about being locked out of those two. Typically there everything's open. You know, they're all open. Maybe because of the show, they're all uh, locked up right now. There's a Pine Crest by Van Lee. Let's try this Bighorn. This should be open, huh? Let's soon find out, huh? It says here, hydraulic landing gear. Faster and stronger. Three thirty-seven five. That's thirty-three seventy-five SS. Like I said, most of them are open. Thankfully for this video, it has a lighter uh, fabrics, darker woods, solid wood. So if you're looking for a uh, good quality product, you want to make sure it at least has for the table solid wood, not some uh, sticker wrap. Get some good uh, ultra leather type material. Got a nice little uh, sofa over there. And similar to the uh, Redwood, you have a fake fireplace, audio system, and a big TV. Another thing to like is these uh, blinds. They have the darkening and the privacy blinds. So there we go. Privacy blinds, there you go. Good size little uh, stovetop here. Furion, three burner. 
convection microwave and a nice Furion oven and a Furion refrigerator. Look at that, a Furion refrigerator. That's a good size refrigerator. Furion's starting to get into the selling refrigerators now. They opened up a facility uh, in Elkhart, Indiana, where they uh, have a little center for all the RV folks to look at all their new RVs. I mean, R not refrigerators, rather. And that's a good refrigerator. Very nice. Storage here. Nice little countertop. Nice little plastic backsplash. And uh, it's all good. Let's go up here. Let's hope we have enough light. There's the bed. I like that material. That is nice. Sort of reminiscent of the, some of my shirts back in the 60s when I was uh, hanging out in San Francisco in the Haight Ashbury. Got your own little vacuum cleaner. Nice windows. That's so dark. I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's pretty dark. Let's go out here. Nice TV. And of course, let's just go to the bathroom real quick. There's the bathroom. Got a nice solid surface uh, sink here. Let's go out this way. Nice little grab handle. In case you need one. And make sure to close it. There we go. It's getting quite windy. So as you can see, the lot goes way, way, way back there. And this over here, we got the volantes, your prowlers, your flagstaffs, your shadow cruisers. The whole range of stuff. Let's pick one of these shadow cruisers and see if uh, they're open. It should be open. Again, uh, typically at this outfit, Explore USA RV Supercenter, they're open, open, open. This is a bunkhouse model for all you folks have uh, a crew. <sighs> nice little standalone sofa there. Dinette. Refrigerator. Ever chill. Let's see if it's a. Uh, This is, uh, I think, a DC refrigerator. At least AC, DC. There's the bunks back there. Nice little furry on uh, stove top and oven. Greystone microwave. And of course, you got your bunks here. You got two bunks with a very nice for the kids and some adults, maybe. Bathroom. Nice little bathroom with a plastic toilet. Little sink over here. Can't complain about that. Good size bathroom. Let me turn around a little bit here. Again, Furion was a brand from Australia in the uh, about five, three, four, five years ago. Moved to uh, Elkhart, Indiana because that's where the, there's more money in Elkhart than there is in Australia. There's only several million people in Australia. There's uh, almost 400 million in the United States, plus Canada. Nice little bedroom, has uh, little lamps, storage bays be behind there, storage above. Nice little valances. Let's get out of this. So what do you think of that unit? Did you like it? Again, that's the Shadow Cruiser Ultralight 359 BHS. Gotta slam those doors, huh? A zinger. What's it doing on this side? It's supposed to be on the other side. Let's see if this open range is open. The name says open. It should be open. It's an open range. 323 RLS. Wow. Hey, we got it open. Open range is a good brand. Mid to high end. 
more mid than high, but good product. Can't complain about it. Got nice dark uh, furniture. I'm pretty sure they come in options. Some come in dark, some come in light. Maybe it's a question for your uh, RV dealership or the kind, wonderful folks here at Explore USA. RV Super Center. Look at that. You got a nice TV. That seems like the standard setup again. Then your little uh, fireplace, heater, uh, audio system, storage, and a big TV. Some have bigger TVs than others. Nice little uh, oven and stove combination. And I don't know if this is a microwave. It's just a microwave, it's not a convection microwave. Get a little refrigerator here. It's all snapped into place. Look at that. It has snaps. I haven't seen that. I've never seen one with snaps. And this is an AC, DC, or just a DC refrigerator. Very nice. Let me snap that back. Let's look at the ca cabinetry. Solid wood. At least it appears to be solid wood. Very nice. Nice cabinetry. And of course you look at the... has the uh, plywood box construction. All metal glides. Solid wood fronts. You can see right here it's solid wood. Very nice. controls right there. Let's go check out the uh, bedroom. Nice bedroom. What's not to like? This is a good size, high quality unit. If you can't afford those uh, beacons, the Van Lee products, the DRVs, the Redwoods, this is pretty good. This is just a laminate, similar you know, similar in quality to like the uh, Alliance. <laughs> this has better design than the Alliance, in my humble opinion. Of course, they sell Alliance here. If you like Alliance, buy it. It's your money. I was talking in uh, communication with the uh, vice president of Alliance, and uh, he was very proud of his product. He says their air conditioners are super quiet, are super, super, super quiet. So we got some more over there, got some more over here. Let's go check out one of my favorite products, Flagstaff. I was in the market for a Flagstaff Microlite 22, I think it's FB. But my wife said, oh, we're not gonna buy it because we're gonna buy some property pretty soon. So that $25,000 can go a long way to buy that property. She's planning to put a hefty down payment down, you know, for the new property that we're buying. So this is a classic by Flagstaff. Check this one out. This one's already even open a little bit. I like these friction doors. They don't, <laughs> they don't slam on me. Nice little gray interior. Big sharp TV. Again, the audio system in the fireplace below. Nice little chairs, dinette. Got solid surface countertops, nice uh, stainless steel sinks. How many burners do you have here? Let's find out. It's a three burner with a cast iron grate. I like cast iron grates. And it's a Magic Chef. And a Magic Chef microwave. Got a little area there where you can plug in items, storage, and a residential style refrigerator by LG. Nice little area over here where you can sit and have a perfect view of the TV. Storage there. Yeah, plenty of area here for conversation. One, two, three, four. 
maybe eight. Again, the bathroom to the left. And somebody called the maid. This place needs to be cleaned a little bit, fixed. The, the bed covers not appropriately set on this bed. Storage here, plenty of mirrors. Serta McGavin uh, King bed. Very nice. Can't complain about that. Let me pass by here. Nice little bathroom. Good size. Not too. And of course, the Aquaview shower miser system to conserve water is included. So let's take another peek here. So we have this all the way across. And there we go. Very nice. Wow, I like it. I like it a lot. You know, I like a lot of things, but my wallet, this allows a lot of things. So, you know, we're, we're all in the same boat. We only can buy what we can afford. And in some cases, you know, your wife says, you can, we're going to buy something else. And that's how it is. That's the sad sad story so here we are in the back we've got some more units some used ones so that's uh my tour if you have any questions contact the folks at explore usa rv super center any of their locations but i'm at the fort worth one they are the nicest people in the world and they got some parking back here they have some parking up front and uh plenty of parking let me go this way i was gonna go that way but i'm gonna go this way don't forget to like subscribe and share i would greatly appreciate it and uh, please leave your friendly, professional, and super nice comments below the description. And don't forget to check my website out, my photography and video website, jmmgarza.com. That's my uh, website. And uh, check out my photographs. Uh, you have my contact information there, even my phone number. And you can email me from there. I also have a comment page, etc., etc. Again from Fort Worth, Texas. Hope you're doing well. It's a little brisk here. Hope you enjoy the tour. From uh, Explore USA RV Supercenter in Fort Worth, Texas, February 2020, late February 2020. Gracias. Adios. Bye bye. Thank you.